All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duels. So once again, uh, we are back with trains and we're tagging with Tiago. So, uh, you know, with Holly and her <laughs> her video. I said, uh, I love the Kevin McLeod music because he, has, he does pretty good music and it's royalty free. Like, it, you know, I never had to worry about, you know, getting a strike ever because his music is good yet it's free, you know? So, of course, Tiago's theme, you can call it Tiago's theme. Uh, at this point, but yeah, that's also a Kevin uh, McLeod song, just like uh, the one that Holly has. <laughs> the thing with Holly is, I was just sitting there listening to a couple of songs, and I was like, eh, 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 eh. There's one song that I liked, but it sounded like way too girly, and I didn't want to come off a car sexist. <laughs> so I like, nah, nah, I can't have that. But then I didn't notice that. Uh, by the time I chose my song, it was actually that, 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 that boogie. Boogie Town, Boogie Boogie Time song. If you guys get that Boogie Time, if you guys get that reference, then awesome, you're awesome because that means they should probably subscribe to one of the people I'm subscribed to. But yeah, like literally, I didn't notice that when I I was like, oh yeah, that song sounds familiar. I was like, oh yeah, it's fucking that song that was used on that channel. And then I scrolled down the comment section and everybody was like, Boogie Time, like yeah. <laughs> anyway, we are going up against Dark Worlds. Yay, one of my top five most hated decks in all of Yu-Gi-Oh. So. So far, I mean, he hasn't, he doesn't got a graph on the field yet, but, you know, just like, yay, Dark Worlds. And by yay, Dark Worlds, I mean, fuck Dark Worlds. <laughs> Insta Fusion, go ahead and summon Broken. Yep, there he is. Ah, Noden. So what you gonna do with Noden? I mean, your tag partner is level 4 monsters that they just happen to have, like I said. Noden is very powerful. Noden, Noden, there's, there's a reason why Noden is more powerful than even, you know, any of the monsters. He's gonna go ahead and go into Dark Rebellion. Because you don't have to normal summon. He still has his normal summon. He just summoned an XC monster without normal summoning me. You know what, how fucking powerful that is? To be able to do that? Very powerful. You know? So look, Buff Ritten can go ahead and block and negate himself, and then, look, his opponent can still go like, Oh, okay, well, I didn't normal summon, so I'm gonna go ahead and normal summon and do my play still. Very powerful. Very, very powerful. He did not normal summon at all. You're supposed to neg when you XC. He didn't even neg. He used one card in his hand to make an XC. Like, so powerful. Oh, he's also using trains. Wow. I mean, I'm all, yeah, I was all teaching trains, but it's just like, wow. Like, that's what you wanted to do? Negus. He just threw that parental tribute. I'm, not, I'm thinking about not really overextending. Wow! Oh my god. Wow. He's gonna use the Dark World player fucking card. He's gonna take the opening away from the Dark World player. That's a, that's a dick move right there. You got something? You gonna do something? You got something back there. If they're waiting. I'm gonna play that bottom list at Solemn Morning or something? I mean, go ahead. What about you? I don't care. Fortress isn't even that important right now. Not at all. Fortress is not important. I can always summon back again. Pitching Cyber and like, it's not that important. Good summon cyber end right now, but I gotta hold on to it. Might be useful when I do when I when we face have a train face off and he goes for Dora, I can just be like, alright, you know, summon Mothic Cyber and damn attack over your monster, you know, because we have a field spell right now. A field spell. Oh my god man, hurry up. Yeah, it's taking fucking forever. Oh, 
So Dark Lord in trains versus Galaxy in trains. So I go open up fine. He opened up the Felgen. He didn't open up. If he had like the Insta Fusion, then that would have been the Infinity, but it didn't. So. My friend Rennie wants to make a, a Galaxy, you know, deck, and he's, he's like, oh, apparently they're just quick. Like, nigga. Okay, I guess. <sighs> anyway, uh, he was like, he's like, I don't know where to start. I don't know where to make it. Like, I talked to the master. Duh, talk to Tiago. <laughs> anyway, they're back. All right, when well, you're back, I wasn't paying attention. I asked Tiago to tell me when we're starting, and I was watching Dragon Ball Z minor leagues on YouTube, and then, oh, the powerful mind crush. Get that shit out of here. And he gets to look in Tiago's hand. Oh my god, mind crush is so powerful. Like. If Minecraft doesn't get fucking uh, limited to this uh, self kind of list, wow, I didn't even get to see his hand. Like, wow, everybody gets to confirm that he doesn't have any more repair plants. Like, alright. Like, if it doesn't get limited, I would just be shocked. I'd be like, wow. Like, do you not see how fucking powerful this fucking card is? Like, you're on crack, Konami. This card is so damn good. Everybody searches. Everybody in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! searches. You cannot... You can't do shit like this! Wow. Okay. So, it's clearly Skillish Trash. A 60 card Skillish Trash deck. With the bad Light Sword Sanctuary. That no one runs. Hopefully I opened well enough to deal with this. Wow, and he milled a wolf. I mean, he milled a soul charge on Boo, but he milled a wolf, so yay, I guess. But, it's like, wow. <laughs> but you go up to 19 to end, you get summon a wolf. That is 4,000 damage right there. Like, damn. That would be half your life points if it was a direct attack. And we know he doesn't have it on us, so we know that all what he has in his hand. Well, he has infinity, because he can go... Oh, he got rid of the repair plan, that's right. Wow. Never mind. Hmm. Yeah. It comes down to what Tiago draws. Right now, he is not sitting well. Looking at his hand, you can see his plates, and he really doesn't have much right now. I was like, what if I don't summon him? He's supposed to summon Cyber Dragon, but then that's it, you know? The Galaxy Soldier, he doesn't have any more lights in his hand at all, so... I could summon him to Stardust. Okay, I guess. I can handle Stardust. At least I should be able to. I opened up decently, you know. Even if it's like a Malefic Severin, I'll be happy. If it's a Machina Fortress, I'll be happy. Like, it doesn't matter, at least decently. Because right now, Tiago, he's top decking into play right now. Uh, losing that repair plant hurt, because with that repair plant, he would have had Infinity, but once again, Minecraft is so strong. What is it? Like, Call the Haunted or something? Is there any point? Damn. He's like, no. Like, okay. He kind of said, like, please don't. Something along those lines. Uh, it's not the best of hands, but it's not the worst of hands. Just Pathfinder, but it's like... Like, it's like, it's a conglomerate of different plays that I don't want, you know? use my normal summon for that. I like Pathfinder, it's just like I use my normal summon for it, so. Please don't have MST. If you have MST, then fuck me. Cause... 
doesn't have the EST, I can feel it. EST? No, he ain't got one. I can, I can see it. No, he ain't got one. Either. MST. Whatever it is, he ain't got it. <laughs> that has wild. Okay, good. Did he have it? No. Oh. Unless he does, and he just didn't know when the time when the uh -huh. MST me. I got rid of the Forbidden Chalice because I have two of them and I'd rather keep the second row decree. I really would. I prefer that. How you feel, Mom? Are you speaking for me? Yeah. I, I, I don't care. <laughs> I'm busy right now. You feel how I speak? Emotionally or, f or physically? Physically. Oh. Hey, how are you? Better? Yeah, my neck is not stiff no more. I had to sleep it off. Oh, no, 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 Yo! <laughs> I'm recording. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hold on, my wife. Damn, 20 years old. I said, that stuff is for the movies. They are professionals. <laughs> So we'll finally get to see what this guy's using because all he did was just set three cards and then so and I said he's gonna have to over generally you got oh he's just gonna surrender awesome ah all right we'll try to get one more and be right back all right hopefully it's not duel against the quittering <laughs> like really all I did was have malefic cyber and like you didn't have to quit on malefic cyber end. I mean malefic cyber is good but he ain't like good you know <laughs> Alright, Galaxy go up to eight Galaxy Expedition, some of the Galaxy Eyes and I'm the Fell Grand right there. Our the power. He didn't get Rose Cream. Tomo boy. Pot. Alright, well this should reveal oh, what deck you're playing. That's wrong with that's the reason. I mean, some Egyptian car, right? god mounted the bound deck. Huh? Can you use your car? Yeah. Okay, so you got the Jama token. So I'm assuming he's gonna go ahead and summon the tokens to our side of the field and then what? Tribute them for the egg? Wow, you're gonna grab Black Garden. Nigga. Okay. See, the problem with Black Garden is if you go first with the Black Garden, it's great because you know, generally the monster that you summon will be cutting, well, it's not gonna be cut in half, which means that generally gonna be stronger than anything we can summon. But when we already have something, like. Little oh, 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 oh. Good fucking luck, you know? Hmm. Probably gonna hold on to you. I'm probably just, I'm thinking about just summoning uh, Gear Frame who will go down to 900 just fine and just running over the token because I would really like to go ahead and just go ahead and get Fortress right now. Or sitting okay. Yeah. No, Black Garden, so pretty much he has to summon something to even crack the spell brand while Black Garden is a field. He has to summon something that's like, like 50 something hundred. It's like ridiculous. That's fine. Fifty, fifty, six hundred. Like that's 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 a crash. Like, you know, if you're going first with the with the, the with the black garden, oh yeah, yeah, sure. If it's going second, like you gotta do, you gotta summon something that that can crash over Felgren or deal with Felgren, who's fucking Felgren. So, like, you you're gonna have a bad time when dealing with Felgren. With all these tokens to our side of the field, like, okay. That's fine. I'm not even touching the Black Garden. We're, we're okay right now. Like I said, I saw that, I saw that Egyptian God card. I saw that, uh, Raw, so I'm wondering if you're gonna, you know, tribute our shit for the sphere. Electromac Nut Turtle, Judgment Dragon. I just want again.
So even if he summons BLS right now, BLS is gonna get cut in half, and he's gonna look at the F15. See, it's just like, okay, I guess. Maybe he tries to banish my, the fail grant, I'll just be like, okay, no, make myself unaffected, you know? I'll probably wouldn't negate. It's better to make tell Garen unaffected than just in case he does anything else this turn. Somebody's gonna send another light zone in. He has Lumina, Rykala, he has two. Even if he summons JD, it will only be 15. This man is the solo winner. Let's see if he can solo it up. I wonder if in a light zone deck instead of the X seeing into like um Okay, he's obviously gonna summon Illumina. Cause you wouldn't have foolish. Oh, Monster Reincarnation, he's just gonna grab Illumina back. Oh, it's Chaos Dragons. Okay. So you're obviously gonna grab back the Illumina. I might negate the Illumina. Damn, picture again, more draw, more sign. Got a Necro Garden as well. So he's got Electromagnetic Turtle and a Necro Garden. I'm like, okay. So that's four cards in his hand. This man is just drawing. He's going through his deck. He's already at 26. Like, this man is just going. What happens when you get charged and the solar and the solar and so. Did he get charged? I don't even think he got charged. I think he just solar recharged three times. Yeah, he did. He already got charged last year. That's just solar, solar, solar. BLS, there he is. That's, okay, that's fine. Mm-hmm. Really, nigga? Like, no. No. Usually be honestly be stronger than Falgrim and you wouldn't have to worry about the shit, but no. 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 This man is all about Judgment Dragon. Clearly he's all about the Judgment Dragon. It's kinda obvious, isn't it? He already got one Judgment Dragon, so. And build off another. Uh, Gardener as well. So uh, that's one, two, three, four. Oh, yeah, he can drop Judgment Dragon on his next turn. Alright, well, I said we can't summon any goddamn monsters, so might as well build up your resources and get ready for the Judgment Dragon. So, go ahead and have, uh, oh, yeah. Oh, all luck. All luck. <laughs> all the luck. I'm sorry, I still don't like that deck. He mailed an Honest, so this, the question is, does he have the other Honest in his hand? That is the question. Because uh, Felgren could just go ahead and run over the, the black the BLS, but if he has Honest, then we're fucked, you know, because that's actually during the damage step, and you can't block during the damage step, so let's see if he has another if he has the other Honest. I'm just going to block with Gardner. All right, okay. Yep, so he... Block with Gardner, uses the fact. Block with Narna, uses the fact. Oh. So yeah, we're gonna get JD wipes. Cause by the time JD hits the field, Felgrin's gonna be all out. It's gonna be all tattered out, tattered out. They're gonna take 3,000 from the token dying. Oh, not 3,000. 900. Another Gardener and Electromagnetic Turtle, so he, he, they could still block it. Oh, I can give one use out of my failed spell. The question is, is that what I want to do? Or should I just wait? I'm going to wait for the JD White. There's really no point in, you know, pushing and overextending right now, because we're going to get we're going to get wiped. So. so. Doesn't matter if you block. Doesn't matter because you're gonna summon JD anyway. Okay, yeah. Actually, no, you're not. You're just gonna banish the Felgrim. 
Okay, you can JD White. The question is, are you gonna do it? Is it necessary right now? Nope, he's just gonna bend. Oh man, that's fine. We don't need it anymore. You gonna summon JD? Or are you just gonna sit on the BLS? Nope, there he is. Fifteen hundred JD. Look at that small little JD. Yep. See how far he goes. Back, grab back, grab him. Oh, is he gonna do that fucking synchro into that one guy? Oh, that's the feel. Yeah, we'll get back you, you back, summon back you. Summon the Lumina, Lumina pitch, summon the uh, right and go into that one synchro monster. Tack, 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 game. Yeah, this is probably game. This is game just because of uh, that synchro monster. If he's running it. Yep. If he win the wide run synchro, but apparently he doesn't. That's not a game yet. This man seriously burned up all his resources. So. Top deck that Regeki. Got another Necro guy now. Got anything to add? Is that it? Did this man's skill is trash us to death <laughs> with his luck. <laughs> and he's multiple JDs. Still don't like this one. You run like Machine Deep or anything like that? I guess he didn't draw anything. Unless, so unless he's got honest. Got his game, so... Damn, we got him fucking luck sacked again. Every time I duel this deck, generally I get luck sacked. Look at this. I don't like aggressive decks. I don't like luck based decks, and I don't like aggressive decks, so therefore I really don't like Light Swords. They're not my cup of tea. I play them on daily duels, but it's not my cup of tea. Look at that, look at that, like, wow. I didn't think he was gonna go like that. Oh, okay. Well, oh, fuck it, I'm just gonna go ahead and call it. It's 25 minutes, so... Once again, lately, I've just been losing the lights on so I don't know what's up with that. <sighs> anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of the Daily Duel, so thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and if I haven't seen you with Lunar, I will see you guys tomorrow using, uh...
Telenites. I'm not sure what we're doing with it. I'm not sure if we're just gonna do the fun version or you know try out one of the decks that topped who's apparently Telenites are going back to just regular Telenites and I you know I'm in agreement. When I was on the Star Shadows, like, I mean, even I was just like eh and a lot of people were like eh even Santi's like eh you know just stick with regular Telenites so I don't know. We'll find out tomorrow. Anyway, thanks for watching, see you guys tomorrow. Thank you.